it's Nikki. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on white magnolias. I want to do kind of a fantasy one. I got the idea at Michael's actually. I saw this really pretty white magnolia with like glitter and sparkles and silver in the middle and so that's what we're going to be doing. Something similar to that. This is what we need. I'm going to go through it pretty quickly because this is always my least favorite part of any tutorial. So you need a roller for your gum paste, ball tools, wire cutter wires. I've got some 24 gauge and one 20 gauge. These are all cutters. I don't have any magnolia cutters. I'm not even sure they exist. Uh, this is from a succulent set. This is an orchid. And this of course is a little daisy. Then you need gum glue. This one I make just with a little bit of tylose and water. Cornstarch of course to roll stuff out and your gum paste. Also a foam pad, an X-Acto knife, and a, I use a little like apple dryer, apple piece, I don't know, to, to form the petals on. Anything that you use to form flower petals on should be fine. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with our center first. I've just got a little bit of light gray gum paste here, because uh, mine is a like winterized magnolia it's going to be all glittery and sparkly so it's going to have a silver center instead of the usual like yellow green center that a magnolia has so you're going to make it into like a 3d teardrop shape then we're going to take our 20 gauge wire i'm going to bend a little hook at the tip i'm going to dip it in my gum glue and then insert it into the bottom thick part of the teardrop. Then I'm gonna kind of pinch around it just to keep it in place, make sure it's really in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these little scissors and starting at the top, I'm just gonna cut little bitty notches. And I'm gonna spin around as I do it this is not something that needs to be perfect. It is the best part of nature is its imperfection. So as we go around, my cuts are gonna get a little bit bigger. I'm starting the scissors to be open wider. Again, not a big deal. Just kind of generally start smaller and go bigger as you go around. So now that that's done, I'm just going to set it aside. Uh, if you can, go ahead and let it sit for 24 hours. That way when we're working with it, it's not going to pop off. It can be really dry. Okay, now for the center part of the flower. Uh, I've got some white gum paste here. I'm going to roll it pretty thin. Okay, it's thin enough that I can see the lines through and that's just fine, doesn't need to be super thin. I find it easier to actually cut it off the mat. I think because the mat's too soft, it doesn't give it as clean of a cut. I'm just gonna cut out, oh, also I rubbed the back. I think we'll do three. So now I'm going to cut each petal in half just to make them a little smaller. It's hard to see because it's white, isn't it? <laughs> white on white. So what I'm doing is I'm going around and cutting each petal in half. And then I'm gonna take a small ball of the tool and I'm gonna curl the petals. And you do that for all three. So now I have all three petals all cut and frilled out. I'm gonna take some gum glue on a paintbrush and just dab the middle. 
Then we're going to take our center that we made earlier. It's all dried off now. I'm just going to pick one, poke it in the center, bring it up, and do that with the other two. So now I want to keep them kind of frilly and messy and, you know, they're not, not orderly here. If some break off, oh well. It's just kind of the bottom of it. Some And some broke off, and that's totally fine. There we go. Just pressing it in to make sure it's on there. And then we'll set it aside to dry. Okay, so I've got another piece of fondant rolled out. I've got it thicker than I ultimately want it to be because I need space to put in the stems. So I'm just gonna cut three out. And then like I mentioned before, I don't actually have magnolia cutters, so we're improvising here. And I'm gonna cut each of these little base here, bases here just a little bit thinner, which would be more like the magnolia leaves. So once I've cut all three, I'm gonna take some pre-cut 24 gauge wires and I'm gonna dip it in the gum glue and just stick it in the end here. You only need it to go in about a half an inch. If you're going to use a veiner, now would be the time. I'm not using a veiner on mine. I'm not going to bother because mine is going to be pretty glittery and frosted up and that would just all get lost under a veiner. Okay, so now that they're on wires and I've got them on my phone board, now I'm going to thin out the leaves and I'm going to intentionally make these wider and longer. And just be careful to avoid where you stuck in your wire. There's no need to make that any thinner. So working from the center, you just work your way out until you get to the ends. And I'm just kind of thinning it out, making it wider and longer at the same time. And then I'm going to put it on my little dryer here. I want it to be nice and nice and cupped. Okay, and then I'm going to do that for all three of the little ones. Okay, for the next set of petals, we're going to be using this cutter, which is a Wilton Orchid cutter. And again, I've rolled it kind of thicker than I want it ultimately to be. I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna take my 24 gauge wire and dip it in glue and then stick it in the end here. Then I'm gonna take this mat. I'm gonna start thinning it out. Now this one I want to be longer than than it is. So I'm pulling it in the direction that I want it to grow. <laughs> and once you've got it thin and where you want it to be, Then you put it on your drying mat. And you're going to want about seven of these petals. Now I don't want it to be frilly because magnolia petals aren't frilly. So I'm smoothing it down. Now if you've got a little curl or a little tear, it doesn't matter because nature's not perfect. But 
Yeah, I want it to dry about like that. And again, you want three smaller ones, seven of these. And then we're gonna let them dry for about a day, at least a day, before we start assembling them so we don't have to worry about them breaking while we assemble. So now what we're gonna do is dust before we assemble the flower. So right now, right here, I've got two edible luster dusts. They are made by Pristine Powders. Um, so I've got one that's kind of a sterling silver and one that's a pearl. So I'm gonna take my silver one. And open it up. So I forgot I hadn't used it. Okay. And we're just gonna get it nice and sparkly and pretty. I like to use the lid because if you keep dipping it in the pot, you'll get too much on your brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some pearl on the white part. Okay, nice and sparkly. So now for the petals, I'm only gonna do the pearl, I mean the silver down the middle and at the end there. So I'm using a much smaller brush. And I'm just gonna get this tip Just taper it lightly down. So then for the rest of it, I'm going to use the pearl. And of course, don't forget the back. Okay, I'm gonna do that to all the petals and then we can assemble. All right, we're gonna start assembling. So I've got my center here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the smallest petals I'm gonna start with first and I'm gonna bend them so that there's almost a 90 degree angle just to kind of help me get started. I'm gonna do that to these three. So then I'm going to hold one up against the bottom, up against the base here, and I'm going to pinch my fingers here to keep it in place, and I'm going to wrap the wire of the petal around the stem wire here. And that's going to hold it in place until I get a chance to tape it. I'm going to do the same thing the other two. Uh, that's something I didn't bend enough. There we go. Okay, now to keep these in place, I'm gonna go ahead, once I get them where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and tape these three down. So I've got my floral tape. Now remember to activate the floral tape, you got to kind of pull on it. You get that stickiness ready. And then I'm going to start at the top and pulling tightly, spin it around and down. Okay, now for the next row, 
We're using bigger pedals. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna bend all the wires at an almost 90 degree angle just to get them ready. I don't wanna to put too much pressure on them when I'm putting them on the base, which is why I bend them beforehand. And I've got some extra pedals here. I haven't decided how many we'll use, so we may not use all these. Always good to have extra. You never know it's gonna break while you're fiddling with it. Now I made these kind of different sizes because magnolias aren't exactly, the, the petals aren't all the same, but I'm gonna start with the smaller ones. And I'm gonna cover gaps here. So same thing, you hold with your finger the wire in place, and then with your other hand, wrap that wire around the stem. And this one here. Okay, so I've got those ones on. I'm gonna go ahead with my slightly bigger petals. And I'm just doing the same process. I'm holding the petal in place, the, the wire, and wrapping the rest of the wire down. I think I am going to use these just to make it a little bit fuller. Okay, now that I've got all my petals on, I'm going to tape them again. But before, I'm just kind of going to arrange, make sure they're evenly placed around. Starting at the top again. Okay, so that is all it took to do our winterized magnolia. Pretty simple, eh? All right, comment if you have any questions and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you very much.